boys, I do not think I've ever been this lucky in this game before. Like most people, this game screws me over like 99% of the time. All right. Probably the other luckiest moment in my Injustice 2 mobile career was when I got Martian Manhunter and Darkseid in the same pack opening. But this definitely, definitely is a lot luckier than that. Not only did I only spend $20 to get Deathstroke, but I also got him like 20 to 30 minutes after the character was released in the game. So I pretty much was one of the first people in the world to ever get this character. Now, look, I want to celebrate. It's really cool. It's really fun, whatever. But the thing is that I really need to point this out for those of you that are thinking about buying this character. Unfortunately, with this character, if you're going to go to the special offer section and you're thinking about buying the character, I do not recommend it. There's no way to directly get this character. Even if you spend money, the only way you're going to get him is off of luck from gambling your money. Okay? And I'm not going to explain every single pack in the game. I bought the $20 one. But the thing is that the chances are so bad that you would be better off buying a $100 Deathstroke for four stars directly because if you spend $100 on average on the packs right now, you would only get Deathstroke at three stars. Now, in my case, it's a little bit different. I only spent $20 because I got super lucky. But for most people, for the average luck, you would be spending way more money than what this character is worth at three stars. So I just wanted to point that out. And on top of that, we also don't have a special offer for the gears. But fortunately for me, or unfortunately for me, you at least get one gear piece if you buy one of the packs. Or at least for the $20 pack, you get one gear piece. So uh, yeah, I just really quickly wanted to talk about that because the special offers that came out for this character are really bad. It just so happens that I got lucky and it just so happens that I make money off of these videos. So, you know, my situation is a little bit different. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay with this character, but just keep this in mind. Um, it, this character is really weird. As a matter of fact, he's so weird that I've already gotten messages from people that got this character telling me that the character is weird because yes, I can, I can a hundred percent say that something is really off with this character. It has to be something to do with his basic attack hits and his swipes because you're going to see in the gameplay right now. And I'll explain when it happens that he doesn't really work the same way other characters work. Not only does he have a problem with his tag in like Martian Manhunter and Raven, which I don't know why they've been adding characters to the game for like four years. I don't know why recently they've had problems with tag ins, but on top of that, this character also seems to have a problem with swipes. So just keep that in mind. With that being said, let's get into the gameplay for this character. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I had two perfect gameplays with this character. And then I realized I didn't have my mic turned on. L. But anyways, we're going to be using Nightwing and Power Girl. So we could do a bunch of power generation. So we could do special abilities with Deathstroke. Because uh, unfortunately, with not that many gears, I can't really be using basic attack hits. Because they're not going to do any damage at all. But uh, we'll make up for it by having the all blades and a lot of power generation. This opponent isn't super hard. Uh, and I did that on purpose just because I really wanted to showcase uh, Deathstroke's basic attack hits. Which is something I really want to talk about. I'll talk a little bit more about it after the battle ends. And I'll try to point out when certain things happen. But first things first, I'm going to try to win. <laughs> Okay, so right there when I tagged in, uh, you can see that the tag in was super slow, man. It is a very slow tag in, which is kind of ironic because the tag in itself is really fast. The problem is that the first hit after the tag in is what makes him super slow, which that is a terrible combination of things to have. That is, that's actually a really bad thing. That's super risky uh, gameplay wise to have a character that does something like that. All right, we got rid of the two legendary characters. I'm going to... I'm just going to go ahead and use special twos and special ones. Just so I can also showcase special twos and special ones. Although, I will say my special three... The special three is my favorite one. My legend will eclipse yours. There's the special one. And then we're going to do super move. Just so we can end it off. There you go. In case you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's a little bit more, I guess you could say, graphic than some of the other uh, uh, super moves. But it still looks really cool. And it looks exactly the same as Injustice 1. 
But uh, yeah, man, that's the one thing I really wanted to point out with this character, and I really wanted to show you guys. I don't understand why they're having such a problem with adding characters that have good tag-ins. They've been doing it for four years. I, I don't know why they have a problem now, but for whatever reason, this character's tag-in is so weird. Like, it almost, if you kind of pause it frame by frame, it almost looks, in some situations, like he literally teleports into the game. <laughs> I'm Batman. Normally, what happens when you tag in and tag out normal characters is a character will have the animation of jumping in. But this character sometimes just kind of like randomly tags in, like teleports into the match, which is super annoying. If your opponent is doing special abilities, and it's a special ability that you can avoid by tagging out, you're not going to be able to do that with this character because he tags in way too quickly. And on top of that, the second, the first hit after he tags in, or I guess that would be the second hit, which would be the swipe, whatever. The part where he does the sword, which is the swipe, is so slow, it actually makes me nervous because it makes me feel like I'm going to get combo interrupted. And I've been getting combo interrupted with fast characters for a long time. I don't know what's going to happen if I use a character that's slow. Like, that's really bad. That's that's a really bad thing to have in a character. They definitely need to try to fix that, but I doubt they will because we still have tagging problems with Martian Manhunter and Raven. But uh, anyways, I'm not really going to talk about anything else with this character. As a matter of fact, I can't even really show Raid's gameplay right now because, again, I only have one gear piece, and I'm sure you guys just want to keep watching gameplay of Deathstroke. So I'm just going to show you guys pure gameplay. I'm not going to talk at all. I'm going to shut up. I hope you guys enjoy the, the rest of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay clean. And let's go watch the gameplay. Ah! 
Green Lantern's back. 